Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning and it is the day. It is surgery day. <laughs> is it called surgery if it's just oral surgery? I think, but Layla is getting seven teeth pulled today. Oh, poor girl, but we're gonna get through it. We're gonna be fine. I've actually read a ton of comments from you all saying that like by the next day, your dog was feeling so much better. That makes me feel a lot better. So my mom is on her way here right now just for moral support. <laughs> because Drew has to work, so we're gonna take her to the vet. And I don't think we can go pick her up until like much later today, so I'm gonna try to keep myself busy in the meantime and hopefully she'll be feeling better in no time. This is my super iconic outfit of the day. Um, I wore this shirt to bed last night. <laughs> I threw on some leggings that I also wore yesterday and my pillow slides. This is how I'm showing up. I'm wearing a mask anyway, so I don't care. I think I'm more scared than she is. I'm like having flashbacks to when she had her leg surgery. It's not gonna be that bad. Okay, let's do this. Say goodbye to these little teethies. <laughs> these two in the front. She's mostly just pissed that I didn't give her breakfast. She's getting very vocal with me about that. But yet these two teeth will be gone. Some other ones will be gone. And you'll be feeling so much better. <laughs> but these teeth will still be showing, so it'll be cute. Come on, baby. Come on, darling. Oh, good girl. <laughs> Hi. Mwah. What'd you get in here? <laughs> okay, I'll leave you to it. Hello, it is the next day. Don't mind my dirty laundry in the background. Our hamper is downstairs to hold all of our clean folded laundry that we still haven't put away. <coughs> it's dusty in here. <coughs> but hello, um, I don't know if you can tell by my face, but I've just been crying all day and I'm gonna try not to like keep this long cause I've done enough crying on this channel. <laughs> But um, basically, Layla is just having a really tough time recovering. She's really, really, really sad. And actually, like, the biggest um, thing that I didn't really expect was, like, how stiff and sore she is. Um, I think probably because we dropped her off at, like, 8 a.m. yesterday. She didn't have her surgery till, like, 11. So I think she was just standing around and like she has arthritis on like her entire body. She can't really like be standing for that long, but I think cause she was just nervous and they probably had her in like a kennel, which she's never really been in that much in her life. So she was probably really stressed and I actually don't want to think about it cause it's gonna like make me spiral. But she's like having a really, really, really hard time getting up and walking. And I think it's just gonna take a few days for her to like heal physically. But the, the procedure is done and <sighs> I'm not like, okay, I, hold on, she's barking. <laughs> okay, it's because our groceries are getting delivered, but Layla's down here right now. I'm gonna show you a little tiny clip of her, but she's not feeling that good, so I'm not gonna show her for that long. Hi, sweet girl, are you doing okay? I'm not feeling so good. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, let me get the groceries, okay? We'll go around you, how about that? Oh my God. <laughs> we'll just go around you, okay, Missy? so many bags sorry about that that's a lot Layla had her procedure yesterday it went well um, but basically like the plan going into it is that she was gonna have seven teeth pulled and she ended up getting six pulled but like they weren't the ones that we had talked about some of them were but some of them weren't and like kind of the main concern one of the main concerns besides her tooth that was like needed to come out was like gross was that um, she had what are they called again? The top Incisor. incisors needed to come out because they're jabbing into like underneath her tongue because of her underbite and they're like jabbing into underneath her tongue. I don't know what that's called. The vet said palate, but I think your palate is up here. So I was confused. When I went to the vet and we scheduled this surgery, it was gonna be her top front teeth so that they would stop jabbing underneath her tongue. Two of her little <laughs> 
tooths on the bottom that have like drifted and then the one tooth that was kind of like like old and like rotting. She went in for her thing yesterday, everything was good, went and picked her up and then when they were checking me out, they were like, yeah, so we pulled all of her bottom incisors. Then I was like, wait, what? I was like, what about the top ones? And I was only dealing with like the tech who was so sweet by the way, but I was just like, I was like, oh, I'm confused. Um, I thought it was supposed to be the top ones. And she was like, no, we pulled all the bottom ones. And I was like, Huh? Can we put this in the fridge and I'll separate them later and freeze them? Well, that's for Layla, I think. Well, one oh, of them okay. is for Layla. She like mix in her food, but now she's eating her food, so it's fine. Well, I'll put it in the fridge so I can separate Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to assume the worst, but part of me is feeling like they pulled the wrong teeth. But, like, I trust their expertise, obviously. They know a lot more than me, but one of the main concerns was that her top front teeth, like I said, were like jabbing into under here, and she has like indentations, like holes in her mouth from it. So why didn't they pull those? And then they pulled all of her bottom teeth, so all of her teeth on the bottom are gone. And like, if you would have seen me an hour ago, I was sobbing about it. <laughs> like, I was like, I love her teeth on the bottom and they're all gone. And it's just like really bizarre that like she's just got gums on the bottom and front. It's just really it. sad. Yeah, Drew Connor, gummy bear. So anyway. Uh, concern, like, I mean, it was in discussed yeah, during was, the consultation. Yeah. And the vet did say um, that when when the procedure was going to actually happen, like there there may be things that come up, like oh, actually you might you know we might need to pull more teeth than we thought or less or whatever. But not like different teeth. <laughs> I'm just really like a concerned pet parent, obviously. And those of you who are vets or who work in vets' offices, I'm sure you understand. Like I'm not um, like mad at them. I guess there's just like a miscommunication going, and I just need to like have it explained to me. So it could very well just be a thing where she was like the top teeth aren't a concern and so we didn't pull them um but that was like one of the main concerns when she initially did the exam to do this surgery so i'm just confused <laughs> i was gonna do a grocery haul but whatever <laughs> i feel a lot better than i did an hour ago like ask drew i was literally laying on the floor sobbing and he was just like petting me <laughs> he was like it's okay and i was just like ah, her teeth are gone and i didn't know they were all gonna be gone and like mostly I just didn't realize how hard this was gonna be on her. I'm gonna try not to cry, but um, like she's getting older and so this is just becoming like really, really difficult. She's just a little fragile lady. So anyway, I called the vet, or actually they called to check in on Layla, but we missed the call. So I called back and left a message to have the doctor call me. Once I hear back from the vet, I'll probably feel a lot better, but I'm just like, I guess I was just started freaking out and panicking because I was like, what if they pulled the wrong teeth for no reason? She's just so sad and it just makes me really sad. So what I'm gonna do is I actually have another laser appointment today um, and I'm not gonna do the Fraxel today because I am honestly like not in a good, <laughs> frame of mind right now like i just need to get in and get out like i'm not trying to like sit there and get tortured i'm pmsing i'm tired i slept downstairs last night i'll show you my um thing so here is where i have spent the last 24 hours got my fan plugged in here i have all of my laptop and work stuff here i've been working basically all day from right here because layla's right here so i just need to be close she's laid with me a little bit and these are towels that we've laid down because she was drooling like really bad when she came in yesterday the other thing is that because of the like scope that they used um during surgery she's really hoarse and so like when she's whining it just sounds extra sad because she has like a sore throat so I'm gonna just do a workout and then hopefully I'll hear back from the vet and then I'll have like another step in my rosacea laser journey. Anyway, okay, gonna put all these bags away. Hello? Oh, hi. I'm well, how are you? Um, she's okay. It's several hours later, I'm in the car, I'm on my way to get my lasering done and I got interrupted earlier, but basically when she got her teeth pulled yesterday, um, the plan kind of changed and like the teeth that got pulled were completely different than the teeth that were supposed to get pulled. Cause I guess the teeth that we thought were bad actually weren't that bad. They just needed to be like polished and then they were still fine. Basically she said that like, unless she has to pull a tooth, she doesn't really want to. So after talking to the vet, I feel a lot better. Like I'm so much more at ease and I'm the type of person where I've been like this my entire life. Like if I'm worried about something, 
I will work myself up into like almost being physically sick over it. I mean, it's happened many times before. So I feel a lot better after talking to the vet about it and just getting on the same page and stuff. So that's great. And the vet even said like, I'm so sorry I should have called you because you were left really confused and we kind of changed the plan. So anyway, all is well. I'm on my way to get my face lasered. There are so many Palo Verde trees around me right now. I, don't, I need to show you. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but they like have these yellow flowers and they're everywhere and they're hitting my car right now. <laughs> but I just realized that after I leave this appointment, there is a kava. So I might ask Drew if he wants us to pick that up for dinner because, oh, it is good. But yeah, I'm like three minutes away and I'm gonna go get blasted again in the face. This will be number four of the pulsed dye. For those of you that uh, don't know what that is, it's a IPL or a laser that's for like rosacea. That's what I'm getting it for. And this will be number four of six, potentially eight, potentially freaking 20, I don't know. I might get my Botox touched up. We'll see. I don't feel bad about it at all. In fact, I feel great about it, but it has kind of like worn off a lot. And the doctor mentioned that if you exercise a lot, it like metabolizes in your body a lot faster. And I work out pretty much almost every day. So I think I might get it touched up again. And I'm just talking for no reason now. <laughs> I'm just blabbing. I will check in with you post laser and hopefully I won't be as beat up as last time, but I think I will be. Well, friends, oh, oh my poor cheek, it's like already swelling. So she did a different setting this time. So she did the non-bruising one. She was like, did you notice like a huge difference between this past time when you bruised like shit and the time before that? And I said, no, not really. So she was like, let's take off the bruising setting because it doesn't seem like it's really doing that much. And we'll put it on like a different setting, but it required her to go over it more time. So I was just sitting there like my soul was you know, leaving my body. The nicest thing was she literally didn't charge me for the laser this time because she said that she's such a perfectionist that she didn't like that she wasn't seeing as many results as she wanted compared to last time. So she didn't charge me for that. And I did get my Botox touched up. So I only had to pay for that today. But wow, what a freaking time. This feels so good. My face is so hot right now. But um, if you can see, I'm at Kava. I asked Drew if he wanted me to stop here on the way home and he was like, yes! He was very excited. We're gonna get us some Kava and then hit the road and head home. All right, we're home. We're swelling already, it's fine. I started eating, realized I never even updated because I called Drew when I left Kava. So we got our Kava, I got my Harissa avocado bowl, I think. And they had a bunch of stuff in there. They're doing like a collaboration with Emma Chamberlain right now. She has like a bowl. It looked good, but I didn't want a falafel. So I got the Harissa chicken avocado, I think it's called. And it was a whole spiel in there. I'm not even gonna like get into it. They were about to close. They gave every single person in the store their food for free. So we literally got all of this food for free. Drew was very excited. <laughs> he got like a Greek pita, I think it's called. And then we got some pita chips and hummus. And it was all free, so mm -hmm. I offered to pay. The flavor they're melting on my tongue. <laughs> TikTok girlies, no. Okay, goodbye. Are you finally out of the closet? You were sleeping in the closet all day. <laughs> Did you fall when you were stretching? Hey, buddy. It's a little while later. <laughs> I'm definitely swelling again. That's okay. Today is a what a vlog. Just taking you, taking you through my all my emotions. I don't know why I turned on the camera for this. <laughs> wow. All right, we're back at this same angle with my same laundry as before. This is just like the closest place where I can sit down and have like it be level. But yeah, um, it's turned out to be a great day, honestly. And uh, like, I've learned a lot about my anxiety today and just how I can spiral and really make things like a lot worse than they are. So definitely something I will continue to work on in therapy for sure. Also, I'm bound to start my period any day now. <laughs> buddy. Hi, Moo. He's sitting directly in front of me just like this. So yeah, turned out to be a great night. I am going to pet Moo and go cuddle him and go to bed. I'm still sleeping downstairs with Layla for one more night. Oh, that was the other thing is like she's doing so much better after giving her her like updated pain medicine. She just feels so much more like herself and she's getting up easier and walking around easier and she just has like a little bit more sparkle in her eyes. It was 
really really sad today I'm not gonna like go into detail but I think that's just part of why I was so distressed I also didn't sleep much last night but I'm just feeling so much better and so happy that like that is over with and hopefully won't have to worry about it again I am going to go heal my face and probably edit this vlog a little bit to go out for you all as soon as possible Moo is about to bite me if I don't start petting him so love you thank you for watching this vlog <laughs> we'll see you in the next one bye Moo Ow! Be nice! <laughs> okay, bye.